Greetings, my friends. Welcome. For those who believe the Bible, I'm one of them. And it's what I go by. It's what I live by. It's what I live and breathe and teach. You know, you understand that in the tribulation period, those left behind uh, who become Christians, and those backsliding Christians who, who are left behind, they don't think they will be, but they'll find out the hard way soon enough that they were wrong. They will, if they refuse the mark of the beast, according to what the Bible says, they will be martyred for their faith. The Antichrist will give them a choice, the Bible says, <coughs> take the mark or be beheaded. And beheading has picked up, uh, actually in the last, when um, Barack Obama was president, beheading was actually uh, brought back into the uh, International Classification of, of Diseases, the ICD-9 book, as a uh, form of execution. So it's out there now. There were lots of rumors about beheading. I won't get into rumors. I don't, I don't deal in rumors. I deal in facts. And the public is now being desensitized as I speak. Uh, the, the population is to Christians being beheaded, refusing the mark of the beast. Christianity uh, is a hated, a hated, hated group. Christians are hated. And sadly, I got to say, I got to say, I submit to you all that the vast majority of people who identify as Christians today are backsliders. Uh, they aren't true Christians. They used to be a Christian because the Bible, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. Not some, not most, not a few, not the majority, but all. So they were saved at one point. They've fallen away. But you see so many terrible things from Christians uh, uh, on the news media, and they make sure they just amplify it so everybody can see it and, and just know what's going on. About sexual abuse and, and, uh, and sexual issues with Christians and, and, and with pastors and their and their parishioners and with others, and how Christians are behind the anti-abortion thing, and how Christians are behind of, behind of, they say that Christians don't want the gays to have rights, and Christians don't want the LBGTQ uh, plus, whatever else goes on with that, to have rights, and Christians are hated by the world today more than ever before. And this hatred has to continue to fester. It has to continue to be fed. And Christians aren't doing themselves any favors because, again, the vast majority of Christians put themselves in situations where they are where they are shown and in, in, in the, in the, they're, they're skylined, as we said, in the military, which means that you're just highlighting yourself in front of the world. And the world sees how corrupt and evil and wicked the church is. Look at all the, all the child abuse in the Catholic Church and it goes on and on. <coughs> but you've got mainstream of uh, even gentle churches involved and everything involved but doing themselves no favors but i can see easily after it would take a lot for the world to say yeah behead those christians but remember this the holy spirit will be gone for all intents and purposes he'll still be here in some capacity because he's omnipresent he's always going to be around but he won't be here like he is now living in our hearts living in our in our bodies and our spirits and guiding us and when he leaves, he's the restrainer. All hell breaks loose. All evil and wickedness everywhere just explodes on the face of the planet. And I can easily see how people are being fed a, a daily dose. It's like with, with, with UFOs and aliens getting ready for the excuse for the rapture, the lie. There was aliens and UFOs. I'm convinced of that. They're being spoon-fed and mass-fed in mass quantities that Christians are bad. Christians have to go. The, the New Age uh, religion believes Christians have to go to make the world kumbaya and make everybody get along. And so... I can easily see, and also remember this too, that the 18% of people in this country who refuse the vaccinations for uh, for COVID, uh, most of them are Christians as well. Not all, but but, but uh, a vast majority are. So you got you you're getting the picture. So Christians are already hated. They're already looked down upon, frowned upon, looked at as imbeciles, as as people who don't have a clue what's going on. I can easily see how they will be hated, and the world will say yes. They don't take the mark. They're, they're trying to rush against the tide like they've done all the time. Get rid of them. Because they have to be able to turn their heads and backs globally for this to happen. And I'm convinced that it's all being set up right now. My friends, the rapture is upon us. Any second of the day, Christ is going to snatch his bride away. Don't be left behind. Jesus Christ is your only hope. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps in the box below video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you all with all my heart and look up true Christians are different growth now we fly so may God bless you can't wait to meet you all in heaven make sure you share take care may God bless you I love you deeply and dearly